Okay, we're going to determine whether or not we have a good or a bad hot surface igniter. And we're simply going to do this by ohming it out using a ohm meter. I have a couple igniters here. Uh, one of them's good, one of them's not. And we can compare the two to see what we should be seeing. Uh, all hot surface igniters are a little bit different. Uh, you have to make sure you get the right information to go with the right igniter. Um, I went to the service manual. This particular igniter should be somewhere between 10.9 and 19.7 ohms at room temperature. So both these igniters are at room temperature at the moment. I'm going to test this one first. Uh, a lot of times guys like to take their probes from their meters and shove them up to the into the wiring harness. I don't like to do that because that can spread the terminals in there and ruin the wiring harness. So I try to come in from the back side whenever possible to, to make my readings. And in this case, you can see I have infinite resistance. So this igniter is open. So that would be an indication that this is a failed igniter. So I go to this next igniter, which is also at room temperature, and I test it. And here I'm reading 14.8 ohms, which falls within the range. So this one is a good igniter. And that's how you test hot surface igniters.